All right, somebody send me a screenshot of these tweets with uh, Errol Spence on my input on it. Um, with this, it is what it is, my man. It is what it what it is. Usually, where there's smoke, there's fire. What I'm talking about is the rumors going around that Errol Spence has fired Derek James. But what's not a rumor and it's actually a fact is Derek James has took down the punching bags that has Errol Spence logo on it and has took down his posters in the gym. Okay, that's what's not a rumor. And in his tweet, they ask him, man, are you leaving PBC? He clearly says no, but I got to find a new home. So evidently he's talking about a place where he trains. So it don't take much to put two and two together. They not on the same accord or they ain't rocking with each other anymore. And I think when it comes to boxing, people have this idea of seeing two people together, whether they're good for each other or not. I met the same thing when I used to question Anthony Joshua about fighting, not fighting, but training with Rob McCracken. I said he took him to his limit. You know what I mean? People attacked me over Rob McCracken. I'm like, damn, what is this? The Rob McCracken fan base? I didn't know trainers had fan base. People just like the idea of two people together. But the truth is, Rob McCracken couldn't take Anthony Joshua no further. He got everything he need. It's the same thing with Errol Spence. Truthfully, he been reached his limit with Derrick James. I think he was just sticking around for the look. Or he got a wake-up call. Either or, but Derrick James has took him to his pinnacle. There's nothing else Derrick James can offer him. That style is limited, like I've been saying for the longest. And they met the, the, the limitations of that style when they got in the ring with Terrence Crawford. And the truth of the matter is this. If you are going to take your career serious from here going forward, then it only makes sense for you to depart from somebody like Derrick James because he can't teach you how to beat somebody like Crawford, okay? He haven't teach you how to fight going backwards. He ain't teach you how to catch and shoot. You know what I'm saying? Just that, just that brawl come forward style, it's not going to suffice right now. Because what do you want to do when you meet somebody who has, you know, dexterity with their IQ and their abilities? The same thing is going to happen. And I'm going to tell you something else. It's not good for so-called trainer of the year to get in front of a camera and claim you don't watch fight fight footage for Joshua and you ain't watch uh, fight footage for uh, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. Even though I don't think that's true, I think he watched some footage, why would you get in front of the world and say that? Because to the casual mind, it looked just like that. It looked like you didn't study. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it looked like you didn't help prepare a plan for this fight. It looked like you ain't have a plan B, A. It, it looked like you didn't have a plan nothing. So whether he was just saying that to just say it or, or it was actually true. When Errol Spence showed up in the ring, it looked like exactly what he said. You know, and he can't teach him how to beat nobody like Crawford. So what are you to do? Stay with somebody because y'all like seeing us together? Or if I'm serious about my career, I'm going to make a change. That's why I said if Errol Spence goes straight into the rematch and don't change up nothing on his training team, he's just there for the money. You know what I'm saying? But if he switches up, I can tell that he's serious about continuing his career. And if you ask me, this right here is a sign that he still wants to get out there and do something and be competitive. This is a good sign. I know people may like to see Derrick James and Errol Spence together, but that has nothing to do with the business and the outcome at the end of the day. Loyalty to somebody because of who they are will get you hurt in this business if their job is to oversee some part of your training. Okay? Nobody say you got to throw them to the side, but add. You need to be adding. You need, you need to be doing that. You know what I'm saying? You need to bounce around a little bit. You need to explore another option. But one thing is for sure. Whatever the remedy is to beat somebody like Crawford or, or anybody similar to Crawford, Derrick James don't got it. It's just that simple. Derrick James don't got it. So if he's looking for a new home, good for Errol. 
That means he still wants the box. That means he still want to go out here and show you something. That means we can see him fight again. But under Derrick James' tutelage, it's not going to work out, man. Because as of right now, Derrick James is on a losing streak. Let's just be honest. You know what I'm saying? It's holes in his games. It's holes in that style. And everybody can see it. Okay? The extra skill set that you see to come from Jamel, he came with that. And if anything, falling in love with the Derrick James style is how he lost to Tony Harrison. He had to get back to what he was doing before Derrick James. These are just facts. So I actually think it's a good sign. Why, why, why some people are sad about it, but we're not here to hold hands and, you know what I'm saying, have relationships with these people. You know, this is their careers. You got to take it serious because in boxing, you only got a small amount of time to make as much money as you can. And if you plan it on make a dent, then you're going to make the changes that you need to change in order to succeed. It's just that simple. Nothing more, nothing less. Like, comment, subscribe. Bruce Payne, I'm out.